The backlash on the fine feed is terrible. We all know that. But what if I told you there is a way to bring it close to zero? No kits, no upgrades, no replacement parts. Let's see if the fix is really worth the effort. Let's start by measuring the backlash on my machine. I locked the column, set the dial to zero and turned the wheel through the dead zone. And there it is. 1.1 mm of movement, about 43 thou, before anything actually happens. So, where's all that slop coming from? Let's walk through the entire fine feed drivetrain. First up, the drive shaft with two universal joints to handle misalignment. These can be surprisingly loose. Even a little play here can show up at the dial. Then there's the worm gear set, the usual suspect. It gives one and a half millimeter of head movement per wheel turn. And in many cases, it's a major contributor to backlash. Next, the fine feed engagement mechanism. Not an easy one to deal with, but we'll come back to it. And finally, the pinion gear, which drives against the vertical rack on the column. If that meshes off, you'll feel it. Each of these parts add a bit of play, and when you stack it all up, that's your 1.1 mm of backlash. Let's take them on one by one. First up, the universal join. It was just 0.02 mm, but that still contributes to the total. Now, you could try clamping the joint in a vise to tighten them up, but that's a temporary fix, and it risks deforming the joint permanently. Instead, I took a more precise route. I measured the gap with the feeler gauge. Then cut a shim from one of the gauge leaves. To keep things accurate, I clamped the thin stock between two thicker blocks, a trick I learned from Joe Pye, and machined a clean hole right through the center. That gave me a perfect little washer, custom fit and distortion free. With the joint shimmed, the shaft felt completely solid. And the dial confirmed it. Backlash from the U joints dropped from 0.02 mm to zero. It's a tiny reduction, but every fraction counts. Next up, the worm gear. This one's a bit trickier. At this stage, the worm gear alone was contributing 0.8 mm of backlash, or 31 thou. That's a big chunk of the problem. My first suspicion was that the slop was coming from the mesh between the worm and the tooth wheel. The worm gear housing allows a bit of adjustment, so I loosened the bolts and dialed in the mesh a little tighter. That helped, but not nearly enough. Backlash was still sitting at 0.34 mm, around 13 thou. It felt like the housing just couldn't slide far enough to fully close the gap. So I turned the heads of the allen bolts down slightly on the lathe to get a little more travel, then dialed the mesh in tighter. Still not perfect, so I kept looking and found the housing was bottoming out against a grub screw. To fix that, I mulled a small relief in the housing so it could slide right over the grub screw. 
With that obstacle cleared, I nudged the housing in tighter and locked it down. The result? Absolutely no slop in the worm drive. It felt rock solid. But when I checked the dial again, the backlash was still 0.2 mm or 8 thou. That's when I found the final culprit, the fine feed engagement mechanism. It is designed with a bit of built-in slop to make it easy to engage and disengage. If the teeth were tapered, like a proper locking spline, it would still engage easily and lock up tight. But that's a design for another day. For now, 0.2 mm is as good as this part gets. Still, that's a drop from 0.8 mm to 0.2 mm without replacing a single gear. Last up, the rack and pinion gear. By this stage, I'd narrowed things down and it was clear that the final chunk of backlash was coming from how the pinion meshes with the rack. At this point, total backlash was sitting at 0.48 mm. But if we exclude the 0.2 mm that still comes from the engagement mechanism, that leaves 0.28 mm, all from the rack and pinion interface. So, I lifted the head, removed the rack, and shimmed it slightly forward using precision gauge shims. That pulled the pinion teeth into much tighter engagement with the rack. After a few rounds of trial and error, it worked. The result? The backlash from the rack and pinion dropped from 0.28mm to 0. And now the only backlash that remains is 0.2mm, entirely from the engagement mechanism. After finishing the video, that 0.2mm of backlash became an itch that I just had to scratch. So I designed a custom engagement clutch that fits right into the existing fine feed mechanism. The clutch completely eliminated the last 0.2mm of backlash, leaving the dial rock solid. So where did all that effort leave me? Backlash at the start, 1.1mm. After fixing the universal joints, it dropped to 1.08. Tightening the worm gear mesh brought it down to 0.48. Shimming the rack trimmed it further to 0.2 mm. And finally, I scratched that last itch with a custom engagement clutch. Now, total backlash 0 mm. From 1.1 to 0, the perfect result. And I didn't replace a single part. Well, I did add one, the clutch. Just careful tuning precision shims and a bit of patience. Check out the next idea by clicking the link on screen. See you in the next project.